Hello, everyone. What if J.K. Rowling had stopped believing in her story, having been rejected by so many publishers? And what if Walt Disney had stopped creating when he was fired for having no imagination? And what about Eddie the Eagle? What if he had stopped believing in his dream of Olympic glory in ski jumping? But they didn't. Why is that? Well, it's because they're passionate about what they do. It really matters to them. And they were determined not to give up. But what if you're not passionate about something and you still have to do it? What then? How do you motivate the unmotivated? As parents, we might have offered extra pocket money or taken away privileges. And as teachers, you might have given rewards or punishments. But according to Daniel Pink, these carrots and sticks just don't work, not in business and not in education. And if you really want to stick at something, you need to be intrinsically motivated. It's autonomy, mastery, and purpose that drives us. But what about the individuals, those unmotivated ones? This is Luca, a fun-loving guy who loves music, art, and gaming. But as a typical teenager, he's often distracted from his work by playing games with his friends and watching wrestling and dodgy videos. <laughs> But well, he was facing some challenges with his cognitive skills. But this was really frustrating him. And like most of us, we benefit from extra support and feedback. So I showed him a little app called Peak on my phone, an app that levels up your brain, using games that challenge and motivate you to build skills in focus, memory, problem solving, and mental agility. Very soon, after a little bit of time practicing, he was progressing and improving really well, and this was having a really positive effect on his cognitive skills. Further up the school, the fun element in education often gets lost and curriculum takes over. I know. <laughs> this is Piers. He's a creative thinker, musician, filmmaker, and no surprises, a gamer. He would spend days editing a film practicing for hours on his guitar and perfecting his skills in Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> yeah, Euro Truck Simulator, it's a game. Anyway, so he's not so motivated when it comes to revision. Surprise, surprise. He has one month to go before his final IB exams. He has offers from university to study filmmaking. So he has the purpose, but has he got the drive? He uses Quizlet and flashcards to revise. So how can he motivate himself to revise the monologues of Hamlet and molecular biology? So I showed him some visual notes as a way to map his thinking. And he started to try out some of these himself. You see, mnemonics, narrative, and songs really help us to remember. And adding visuals to text and connecting new learning really helps to retain memory. We are so much more motivated when we have freedom and choice. So what if we could have more autonomy in our own learning? This is Richard. He's a keen sportsman, plays football, he's a little bit overweight with high blood pressure and a bit of a weakness for beer. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. It's true. Um, he uses the app on his watch called Activity and this uh, tracks his runs, distance on the pitch and general health and fitness. And just like Peak, it gives him regular feedback in terms of sort of small, measurable progress. And this then motivates him to improve. 
Unfortunately, unlike Richard, I'm really not motivated by competition and leaderboards. In fact, I'm much more likely to swap the gym for a packet of Maltesers. <laughs> but I am engaged by games, passionate about visuals, and driven by small amounts of progress. Now, I'm not the most fittest of individuals, but in order to try and keep myself hydrated, I use this cool little app called Waterminder. And it visually reminds me to uh, drink throughout the day. I know it sounds ridiculous, I don't drink enough water. Um, but it visually shows me um, how much water I've taken each day. And then it does this cool little sound um, where it audibly reminds me. Well, it sort of does this. <laughs> um, and it, it just reminds me to drink more water. It's so easy to forget. Um, and then just recently, I've been introduced to another app called Zombies Run. Oh, some of you know it? Okay. So Zombies Run um, clearly is about running, and I'm not a runner in any shape or form. However, this app is, is really fun and engaging. It has a story that takes you through your walk or run away from zombies, um, and maybe it's the motivation I need to get fit. It's really good fun and quite scary. Um, now, all I need is somebody out there to develop an app that will gamify report writing. <laughs> Let's hope somebody can. So, how about you motivate the unmotivated? Could technology be the magic trick you're looking for? Understanding what drives us works, as it did for Luca, Piers, and Richard. And the reason I know this works is because these three are not just anyone's family. They're my family and my motivation. And what I see in my family, I see in my students. And every day is an opportunity to drive them to motivate themselves, whether future blockbusting screenwriter or regular seventh grade guy. Get rid of those carrots and sticks and try some motivation magic. And who knows, maybe it won't be game over for you or your students just yet. Thank you. Thank you.